In another major story tonight, the World Health Organization took the rare step today of declaring Zika virus and its suspected link to severe birth defects an international public health emergency. The outbreak started in Brazil, and our Dr. John LaPook is there tonight. John? Scott, I spent the day at this hospital in Recife, which has seen the most number of cases of microcephaly in all of Brazil. And the couple I spoke to was anguished as they try to figure out what this condition means for their baby. Alice Bezeja de Paz had a healthy first baby. But two months ago, her second child, Joao Heitor, was born with microcephaly, a birth defect linked to the Zika outbreak. Babies with microcephaly have an unusually small head and developmental delays. We never expected to have an infant like this, she said, but we will care for him the same way. Today, the parents came to the Oswaldo Cruz Hospital in Recife, where doctors have seen about 300 infants with microcephaly since September. Before that, this region only saw an average of nine cases a year. Oh, baby. Dr. Angela Rocha heads up the effort here to understand and manage the crisis. In her four decades as a pediatric infectious diseases expert, she has never seen anything like it. This is different, she said. It's a generation of babies with disability, which is a huge social, economic, and public health problem. Tell me what it's like to have a conversation with a mother and tell her that her baby has microcephaly. It's a situation with a lot of stress, panic, worry, and insecurity, she told me. That's because these parents and even health experts here are trying to figure out what services these infants will need. Today, the president of Brazil gave public health officials the right to enter any home or business to try to eradicate mosquito breeding grounds. And Scott, we'll be reporting on this in the days to come. John LaPook in Brazil for us tonight. John, thank you.